Today we're going to be talking about the SH Monster Arts Godzilla Singular Point Jet Jaguar. SHMA has given us based jag. The latest Jet Jaguar design from Godzilla's latest endeavor, Godzilla's Singular Point, stacked on paint, detail and accessories, all for, uh, how much I paid for this? $76.24 before shipping. And you know what? It was entirely worth it. <laughs> Now to quickly go over the boxes, for those of you who haven't seen the unboxing video, here is the web shop exclusive box. It's standard cardboard, black print, slightly dented from shipping, bit of a bummer. And here is the normal box, and it is an absolute work of art. These singular point boxes are only getting better and better, and I really can't wait to see what they do with Rodan's box. That's gonna be special. Well, at least I hope so. But anyway, let's move on into paint and detail. Holy moly laser nosebleed, Batman! I really, really like this figure and its paint job. Like, a lot. So... Yeah. Now, while a bunch of these pieces were molded in specific colors, there are more than enough areas that are painted. Such as the top of the head, which looks like a toasted marshmallow. As well as the side and front of the body. And of course, the red and yellow that will be adorning the torso. Now, this is very, very, very well done. And I know it is painted because we have a little bit of a run-on sentence over here with Jet's torso, as you can see. But from far away, it really ain't all that detectable, so no points removed. And Thankfully, all of this lovely deep red is going to continue onto Jet Jaguar's back. <laughs> but that toasted marshmallowiness is going to cease once you get to the back of the figure, which really, honestly, isn't upsetting at all. Really. Speaking about the back, we have this red line on the back of Jet's head, and it looks pretty dang good. Yeah. We've got a little bit of a befuddled blue speck over here, but that is indeed interesting since I do believe this neck piece over here is just molded in blue plastic. Speaking of blue, translucent blue ringed eyes. It looks so dang good. And while we're here, we could take a look at Jet Jaguar's grill because it is very lovingly done. This was one of the areas I was most worried about because, you know, it's tiny, it's skinny, it's not exactly one of SH Monster Arts's uh, strong suits to paint tiny things. I mean, just look at all the issues they've been having with paint applications involving the eyes. I think I had every right to worry about this. <laughs> but no, Sham continues to impress with a rather lovingly painted Jet Jaguar belt buckle. Although, yet again, I do believe this piece was molded in blue plastic, but has this part over here, the fill-in, mostly being paint. You can kind of see some paint imperfections towards the arrow, but it's very, very much not noticeable. Jet Jaguar's little yellow waist over here here is actually painted. I can tell because when I was putting him in stands and everything, yellow flakes were coming out of his, um, butthole. Some more loving paint applications on these springs over here on Jet Jaguar's shins, and something that I'm just noticing now are going to be the red lines in the armored bits of his shins. Seriously, I never noticed that before, and it's pretty dang well done, man. Holy hell. The same could be said for the Jet Jaguarian knee pads and shin guards over here, which, as you can tell, are definitely painted. They're not perfect, but they're closest to perfect. And the same could be said for the Jet Jaguar tins. Not perfect, but dang near close to it. As far as the rubbery bits go, they were likely just molded in a yellow rubber. Both on the shoulder blades and the elbows. And these free hanging wires over here are clearly just red wires. <laughs> They're not bendy or anything like that. They don't hold a specific shape. They kind of just chill there. And as far as detail goes, I think it's pretty well done. This is a very minimalistic take on Jet Jaguar. There really isn't too, too much going on. But what is going on, like the little rhythm, it's on his knee pads over here. It's all properly detailed and looks pretty dang accurate to what we saw in the show. Even in areas of articulation, you are going to see details just disappear and reappear again. And even across Jet Jaguar's many accessories, you're going to see fantastic details like these hands. Yeah, across all of Jet's accessories, man, you're going to see a lot of really great Gunpla-esque looking details on it. Very simple, very clean very nicely done. Yes, it is very much model kit-esque, but still, nothing but credit to Sham for this one. Paint and detail are both going to get two <laughs> solid stars.
Now, old Jet over here is made out of ABS plastic, very much like a model kit. That Kaiju DU over here suggests a top coating application for those in the know about model kits. I'm not saying everyone should go out and do this, since this isn't exactly a cheap figure. But those who know what the hell they're doing, go for it as apparently it might fix some of the issues that this figure does have in terms of durability. Lord knows I wish I was good at stuff like that because as I was taking pictures for the size comparison portion, I got my fracture. And while this really doesn't affect my final score for the figure because I still do love it to all hell and back, I do wish this was made out of a much more durable material, so build quality is going to get a half a star from me. Mind you, I was always going to give build quality a half a star because I don't know how this material ages or how it does with aging so I imagine there is going to be some wear and tear on this guy eventually and I really don't think Tamashi Nations really thought all of that through. So whether I got a fracture or not this would have been the major outcome. And I don't know if I prefer this material or if I would have ever even bought this thing if it was 160 plus dollars with loads of die cast on it you know. <laughs> So altogether, Jet Jaguar comes with a stand, his flight mode turbine Jet Jaguar jetpack pack pack thing, the Anguirus spike spear, a car seat for Yoon, a Yoon minifigure, two fists or holding hands, and two pointing or thumbs up hands. All this can be yours for the big bad toy store allotted price of $100, and honestly, I think that's entirely worth it. Now I do just want to make this a point to say, this does indeed plug into the bottom of his little turbine pack, but it's not going to be enough to have Jet Jaguar fully posed on. Yeah, this stand is mostly there just to help Jet Jaguar stand while he has his flight pack on. I tried posing him while he was attached to this stand and it just ain't working for me. So if you have any kind of stand from Tamashi, that's pretty much going to work for you no matter what. Just make sure it's a peg and not a claw. Just wanted to toss that out there for anybody who might ask. Now let's take a look at these hands. Just like those open and splayed hands, you're going to get a lot of details on these little Jet Jaguar pincers over here. It is all roughly going to be exactly the same, they're just all in different poses, so I'm not going to take all the time in the world to praise these, but... Absolutely, 100%, fantastic detail. Solid star. And the same could really be said for this Yoon figure. The detail is magnificent. And you know, given what we got from the Jet Jaguar minifigures we got with Godzilla Ultima, I'm really, really impressed. This guy looks way better. I do wish the gas mask was removable though, but something tells me it's probably better off that it wasn't. Same goes for the paint, actually. I know a lot of people really wanted this Yoon figure to be painted, but let's take a look at Exhibit A. <laughs> You really want the people that painted those eyes so crookedly to paint something like this? I think this might have been an action of mercy, and honestly, I really don't mind it. It reminds me of the model kits of yore. And even though it is just a Twitch streamer race car chair, the paint and detail on this little piece is rather nice. I do very much enjoy the fact that the part that pegs into Jet Jaguar's back is painted the same color as his base color, so it just matches. And as far as the jetpack turbine flight mode thingy, you're really not going to get any massive amounts of detail except on the blades over here and yes they can spin very basic very minimal wasn't expecting too much probably got more than i was expecting and of course you will see some minor detail across all of this gonna get a little bit more detail on the underside over here same for the blades in general and i'm not really mad about the lack of detail on this thing either i'm pretty sure this thing was pretty blocky and smooth even in the show and even if it wasn't i'm really not complaining and now, finally, we have the Angurus Spear. You just have to match up the shapes and bing, bang, boom, Ronnie, you're done. This is a beautiful accessory, but I am kind of hating it since this thing is the reason why we are seeing so many issues with this figure. The hilt, the handled part, very lightweight. This is honestly 
pretty friggin' heavy. And I know SH Monster Arts is all about the paint and the detail, blah, 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 blah. But this is one of those instances where I gladly would have taken a downgraded version of this just to make it hollow and just to make it okay for this figure to hold. But as I said in my community post, no use crying over split joints because the paint on this thing is beautiful. Just look at that. So very well done. The root of the spike on the spear is rather nice. I really like the wrap that they did over here i like the way that it was painted and such this is a great looking accessory but again i really do wish it wasn't so top heavy had this thing been a bit lighter i think we would have a lot less cracked elbow joints mm. and last but most certainly not least we have an alternate pair of antennae for jet jaguar as he goes into his flight mode and i mean they look great and i really don't like touching them because they are so frail feeling so i'm putting them down sub rating wise i'm going to give the spear a solid star and a slightly personal X for causing the cracking of my elbow joint. Dick. I am also going to give the Yoon figure a solid star. The car seat's gonna get a solid star. A plethora of alternate hands will also get a solid star. The alternate antennae will get a solid star. The Jet Jaguar Turbine Pack Jet Pack Thingy Mabob is going to get a solid star as well. And this flimsy yet workable stand will also get a solid star. These are all sub ratings. They are not going to outwardly affect the final rating of this figure. But hey, we got a bunch of solid stars for a bunch of accessories. Accessories with an SH Monster Arts figure. Holy shit. But now I guess we can get to applying the accessories, so let's get started. <laughs> Alrighty, accessory application time. Up first, we're gonna do the spear, and in order to do that, we need to take off Jet's hands. Now, I'm pretty sure you could just pull these things off, but after um, <laughs> everything, I kind of just lightly screw them off and then pull. As you can see, they're on basic pegs, and he's got peg holes for wrists. And for the time being, we're going to put Jet Jaguar off to the side. And what you want to do is get the balled up fist looking hand. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter which side you put these on, but I've always seen it as these are Jet's thumbs, or they might be his pointer fingers, given, you know, the whole thumbs up pointing hand. Now what you're gonna want to do, put these balled up hands or the holding hands on the top of the hilt over here, and just keep it like that. So you got both of the hands on there, and you're gonna look at the top of the spear, and you're gonna see this uh, D shape. You're going to essentially just match that up with the base of the spear and there you go the spear has been reconstructed and oh god that is heavy and the hands are already attached this is simply how i like to do it you don't have to do it just like me now we are just going to apply the hands dear god i am terrified and there we go Jet Jaguar is holding the spear, and I am going to be holding the spear so this doesn't happen to my other elbow. That being said though, he does hold it rather well. It's just I really don't trust either arm at this point in really carrying the weight of this thing. And with how heavy this tip is, obviously it is going to cause Jet to fall over as such. So if you're going to pose him with the spear in his hands, please be sure to have a stand. And I know this might detract some people away, but I would actually beg you to just not pose this guy with the spear in his hand at all. Either that or get another stand to prop up the weight of the spear if you really feel the need to display this guy with his spear. I mean, I could totally understand why. It looks awesome. Just so all of that weight is not being leaned on the elbows, because honestly, as much as I do love this figure, I hate that I got that crack, especially with how careful I was being with this. But anyway, moving on. Alrighty, up next, the flight mode backpack. All you gotta do is remove Jet's battery pack from his back as such. Get a fingernail under there, or a flossing wand, and lightly remove that piece which just fell into my coffee, I think. It did not fall into my coffee, thank God. Place the car seat into Jet's back. Do what you did with the battery pack, but in reverse and just press it into place like so. Looking good so far, but we're not done just yet. Now comes the delicate process of replacing Jet's antenna. Now I just wanna make this clear. These things are very brittle, they're delicate. So if you're going to be taking them off a lot, please be safe about it. If you wanna use a really thin toothpick or a very thin part separator, by all means do that. Me personally, I use a combination of a flossing wand, I use the pick end, and my fingers just to get them off fully. So let me show you how I do that. So I start at the point 
up here and I just lightly wiggle my way in there being very very gentle not trying to speed through this at all <laughs> and as soon as I see the antennae like that I grab the little part this part right here and they just happen to slide right out I've been very careful with this figure, and ugh, I'd like to remain being careful with this figure because I don't want anything that will cause it ugh, to break any further. Now I'm constantly putting the wrong antenna on the wrong side of the head, so just so everybody knows, you want the wider portion facing upwards. Facing downwards, you got it on the wrong side. And as far as applying the antennae, it's as simple as just doing that. And it looks really cool. Granted, it will look a lot cooler once I have both of them in there. Struggled a little bit, but hey, there we go. Jet's got his antenna applied. And there you have it. All of the accessories have been applied on camera, save for the Yoon minifigure, which will be attached to the car seat. But we can't do that quite yet. Do you know why? Because we're gonna have to articulate to do it. So, moving on to articulation. <laughs> So let's start with Jet's backpack, shall we? I do believe these are on a ball joint because they can pretty much go all the way around. They can even go upside down if you wanted them to. And the little brake pads over here can move in and out. Out and in. Out and in. And you'll be getting the exact same for the other side. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, you know, as I demonstrated before, these can spin. But this is about as much articulation as you're going to be getting out of the flight pack. So, since that's all nice and covered, and now for the base figure. Jet Jaguar can look up about that far and down about that far. Double ball joint, one at the head, one at the neck. It can also look side to side, like such. I'm pretty sure the head can go all the way around. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Head all the way around. We're going to get a butterfly joint at the shoulder blades over here. Now you will get a little bit of pushback with these since they are surrounded by rubber, but I do think you'll get as much as you need from them. The butterfly joint can also move up pretty far and it can go all the way around as such. Going to get a hinge at the shoulder as well. And you'll get a swivel up here as well. Warning, this is not a joint. You're going to get a rather whimsical bend at the elbow. It can go pretty dang deep and this will accommodate for as deep as a bend as this. Of course, we can bend back out. You will also get a swivel at the forearm over here. Very, very nice. And as demonstrated prior, the hands can swivel all the way around as well. One of my favorite points of articulation is actually going to be at the waist over here because it actually moves very, very well. Jet Jaguar can crunch forward and he can crunch back even with the car seat attached, which is very much impressive. He can also go from side to side like so. Very, very nice. And something that I discovered while messing around with this figure on my second or third day of owning it, he can actually spin at the waist as well. It's just very rickety sounding, and I don't like doing it at all. And now for the legs, and my god! There are so many different points of articulation with these friggin' legs, they're almost a figure in and of themselves. We are going to get a nice hinge at the waist over here, which can go pretty far out. And if you do have Jet Jaguar at a very neutral pose, they're still gonna go pretty far out. But I have to readjust him as so, because you will be able to go all the way around at this little peg over here. You will have to adjust the leg as you move, but it is possible, I assure you. But even if you don't want to do that, you could still go all the way around at this point over here. Just let me re-acclimate things and bam, there you go. All the way around in two points at the legs. We're not done going all the way around though, because there is indeed a swivel at the knee over here. You can go all the way around. Since the wire is attached to this point over here, moving these all the way around is not going to be an issue. And of course, with knees, you can bend in once, but you can also bend in twice. That's right, a double bend at the friggin' knee. It will take a little bit of getting used to to re-straighten out the knee, but if you've worked with double bends at the knee before, I don't think you'll have an issue working these things out. Now, as far as the ankles go, you're going to get 
a massive friggin' pivot. You will be able to bend up pretty far at the toe and down pretty far. And something that really, really caught my eye was the ability to move the backs of the heels as well. And you'll be able to do that both over here at this point and over here at the back point as well. You're definitely gonna wanna mess with these things if you're trying to get Jet Jaguar to stand up straight. Seriously. Messing with these will dramatically affect Jet Jaguar's ability to stand. Every time you mess with them and you want to get them back into a neutral pose, do not forget the heels. They are movable. And I, as the very green around the gills, not articulation master, do still have an issue with them from time to time. And that's more so based on my inability to do things correctly. And that is pretty much it when it comes to articulation. And I do have to give SH Monster Arts credit. The articulation on this guy is fantastic and can lead to some amazing poses but forget about jet jaguar because now we can properly articulate the little mini yoon figure the arms can go up pretty far. I don't want to push them too far simply because of how this is all molded. I'm afraid I'd break it. The legs can go up about this far and the knees are in fact on a ball joint so they can be properly posed in whatever way you see fit. But I try and keep them straight out as such like so especially when I'm putting him in his little car seat which now we can properly showcase me putting him in the car seat and Put his arms down like so that's how he looks and we're bringing it all back together and here we go flying jet jaguar is complete Whew, what a workout, but dang is it worth it. Jet Jaguar might be one of the most poseable SH Monster Arts figures out there. I'm not going to make that sound like a true statement because I don't have nearly enough SH Monster Arts figures to really make that a bold statement, but this is definitely one of the more articulated figures from the line. And I gotta give articulation a solid star. In fact, I might have to give it two solid stars worth for the figure itself, for the Yoon figure, and you know what? Maybe even a third solid Solid star for the articulated jet pack or er, flight mode pack that's what I should call it that's a lot of solid stars for a pretty dang amazing figure and honestly friends and neighbors even with the breakage I think this is one of the best SH monster arts figures out there and he can do a fucking handstand bro <laughs> Size comparison time, small, medium, large, related. I've been having nothing but fun with this figure across all of his included accessories and then some. It's just so hard to put this guy down and be satisfied with a pose or a build that you have him in. And honestly, as long as you're mindful of what you're doing and how you do it, this guy is a breeze to handle and an absolute joy to add into your collection, SHMA collector or not. And with how well this guy was handled, I can only imagine how Tamashi would handle a Showa-era Jet Jaguar. Oof. Give me now, please. I think I'm gonna make a bold statement real quick in saying that this is my favorite SH Monster Arts figure. Ever. Now, I know that's not really saying much given how non-extensive my SH Monster Arts collection really is, but in a way of thinking, it's going to take a lot for the line to wow me as much as this figure did. Build quality flaws and all. SH Monster Arts, if you're willing to share the wealth here, I really wouldn't mind if you decided to uh, maybe release a Jet Jaguar Light to the Bandai Robot Spirits line with just the interchangeable hands and maybe a hollow spear. I'd buy it, and I know a bunch of people who don't want to spend $74 to $100 on your product that would buy it as well. Maybe make it out of tougher material, I don't know. Now I might be eating my words in saying that because since this is SH Monster Arts, something tells me you guys are probably going to end up releasing a battle damaged version of Jet Jaguar alongside an atomic ring blast Godzilla Ultima. So maybe I'll just wait for that. But no, seriously, a robot spirits version of this figure would be rather dandy. But anyway, that's enough out of me, everybody. I do so hope you all enjoyed this review. Hope it was well worth the week long ish wait. And when next we meet, which will be next Wednesday, uh, I have no idea what I'm talking about, but next Friday I'll be talking about finally the SH Figure Art Shin Ultraman because Corey sent me a replacement copy for my birthday. Thank you, bro. Any hooser, I'm gonna end this video off now. I believe in a singular point Jet Jaguar supremacy and would like to see more. We're done. Good night, good morning, good afternoon, 
Goodbye.